The Obama administration is accused of spinning a government scientific report to the amount of oil left in the Gulf of Mexico from the BP spew, which had officials declaring that the vast majority of the oil had been removed. The vast majority of the oil is gone. It was cleaned up, it was burned, it was skimmed, it was contained. Uh, Mother Nature did its part. Really is, is, is good news. I think it's a testament to... Browner indicated that about 75% of the oil had been cleaned up. But even if Browner is correct, 25% of the oil amounts to five Exxon Valdez spills still in the Gulf. Later, Obama himself told reporters that the battle to save the Gulf was almost over. He went further, boasting that members of the New Orleans Saints football team are scheduled to soon dine on Gulf seafood at the White House. Yesterday, that we, we learned that a procedure to prevent any more oil from spilling uh, with a cement plug appears to have succeeded. And the final steps will be taken later in August when the relief well is completed. But what is clear is that the battle to stop the oil from flowing into the Gulf is just about over. Our work goes on, though. Uh, I made a commitment to the people of the Gulf Coast that I would stand by them, not just until the well was closed, but until they recovered from the damage that's been done. And that's a commitment my administration is going to keep. So with the ongoing reopening of Gulf fisheries, we're excited that Fishermen can go back to work, and Americans can confidently and safely enjoy Gulf seafood once again. Uh, we're certainly going to enjoy it here at the White House. In fact, we had some yesterday. Uh, while they're here today, several Saints players are going to spend some time teaching our staff their favorite Gulf seafood recipes. So who's cooking? <laughs> Which one? Somebody. It's you back there. <laughs> But environmental groups and scientists, including those working with government agencies to calculate the scale and the effects of the spill, say White House officials are painting a far too optimistic picture of a report by the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Agency into the fate of the oil. John Kessler of Texas A&M University, who led a National Science Foundation on-site study of the spill, said, quote, Recent reports seem to say that about 75 percent of the oil is taken care of, and that is just not true. The fact is that 50% to 75% of the material that came out of the well is still in the water. It's just in a dissolved or dispersed form. Susan Shaw, a marine toxicologist and director of the Marine Environmental Research Institute, says the White House has been too quick to declare the oil gone. She told British newspaper The Guardian, quote, The blanket statement that the public understood is that most of the oil has disappeared. That is not true. About 50% of it is still in the water. That's 10 Exxon Valdez's. Like other scientists, she says the report fails to explain how it reached its estimates on the amount of oil that is biodegraded naturally or dispersed with chemicals.